As promised, yeah, here he is from the UMass Minutemen side of things. And uh, Ty, great to see you. Uh, how are you been doing, all right? I'm doing well. How are you been doing? Good, good. What's going on this summer? How has it been? It's, it's been well. I've been up at UMass, you know, working out pretty hard with Coach O. Um, also got a nice summer job with the grounds crew up there. Oh, so, cool. You know, just trying to maintain. Is somebody walking around with one of those, like, cool zone fans with you while you're out there working? Because I wish. <laughs> it's, it's nuts. The heat, it's been a heat wave, you know. I'm, yeah. Thankfully, I'm not in, you know, my home state, Virginia, right now. Oh, but yeah. It's been very hot up there, you know, but um, I have a Panama Jack hat. It keeps me pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, not too much different this time of the year for whatever reason uh, up in New England. But, hey, congratulations. I mean, what, what a job by you last year. I mean, Thank you got to be fired up coming into this season and uh, with the, all the accolades. Uh, you know, how do you approach it, you know, when you have all that kind of expectation on it? Yeah, well, you, you know, we get a lot of attention. Me, personally, it makes me very excited, you yeah. know. You know, very excited to get ready for the season to open. Also, you, you know, it kind of puts a target out there on you. You know, you guys are going to be coming out there to get you or play the best game against you, but you just have to, you know, work hard in the summer and keep doing what you've been doing that's got you this far. When you guys prepare for games, and not a lot of people really understand what kind of work goes into it, and especially on the film watching side of things, like, I mean, you're in there hours and hours yes. every week. I mean, what are some of the things that you're like looking at that makes you a better player and that helps you be aware of things that are happening on the field? I mean, it's, it must be just so difficult unless you've really done it. I mean, can you educate us a little yes, bit on what um, you're watching or what you're looking for? In order to be a great player in this league, you have to, you know, do the extra things to separate yourself. Uh, I spent countless hours in the film room whether it's working with the new defensive coordinator, you know, Coach Fakuchi or my position coach. Um, I look for you know, certain tendencies maybe offense like to do or maybe, you know, a running back sets a certain way on a certain play. So you look for little things to give you an edge on how a play is going to be run or what type of play comes to give you an edge on the offense. I mean, this has got to be a lot of it, though, that it's just so much instinct out there and then just making plays based on what happens around you. Like, maybe one of your guys is out of position. Maybe somebody from the offense goes the wrong way, and then you're, like, right there. Yeah. That's got to be a majority, I would think, of some of the plays out there in any given game. Right? Yeah, I say a lot of them is more instinctively, you know. Okay. Um, I think the game of football itself is all instincts, you know, yeah. just read and react. You got to play at the big house last year, uh, Gillette Stadium. You're going to do it again this year. And then, of course, uh, you know, when the team moves uh, to 1A or uh, football up into the FBS level, it'll be at Gillette for a couple of years. But how great is those atmospheres uh, at those places? I mean, that's oh, big they, time college football. They're the best. You know, I, I still remember walking out the tunnel to the big house and just looking up and seeing all those fans, you know, screaming at you. You know, it's just something, you know, I, I'll take with me to the grave. You know, the experience I had there was tremendous. You know, very thankful to be a part of that. Linebacker Tyra Holmes here with us uh, from the UMass Minutemen at CAA Football Media Day Live 2011. I'm Mike Corey. Thanks for joining us. And, uh, you know, we're here at the Baltimore Ravens home, M&T Bank Stadium. Of course, one of the best all time in the linebacking yes. position, Ray Lewis, a guy I'm sure you look up to a lot or what? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Okay. I idolize him, you know. Okay. Um, my favorite player in the NFL had to be Michael Vick, but okay. second, definitely Ray Lewis, you know. Um, just just a man. You want to model your life after that guy. Yeah, what know? a job he's done, you know, just like the face of this franchise and just the, the hard work and effort that goes into it. Yeah, um, of course. You know, you see him, he's a hardworking guy, you know, doesn't take no days off, tremendous leader. You know, I just kind of try to mold myself after him a little bit. All right, well, uh, preseason uh, defensive player of the year. I know you got a lot on your shoulders, but I uh, wish you the uh, best of luck this season uh, Thank for you. UMass, and uh, thanks for joining us. All right? Thank you. All right, good seeing you. All right, Tyrell Holmes uh, from UMass, the Minutemen.